hello everyone and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i thank you for your love for your support i appreciate each and every one of you that have supported me actually don't take it for granted thank you so so much okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut and sew a fish skirt so you can see the picture showed to you earlier that's what we're going to learn how to cut today it is a very simple process and this pattern is a pattern is like a must-have pattern for anybody that makes dresses well, you need to know how to perfect this pattern so that's what we're going to be learning today for the sake of those that are just joining us i already have some on the channel but i just decided to do this tutorial again so if you are new to the channel you're welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell to get an update whenever i upload a new video you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish niger and then if you want to register for my online classes which i normally run every month you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll give you the details of all of the classes we have presently available okay so guys let's just get started let's dive into the tutorial i was like doing that <laughs> okay so now before we start i'm going to give you the measurement that we're going to be making use of I already have some couple of lines on my pattern. I'm going to explain it to you. So for the first, on the waist measurement that we're making use of for this, the waist is 28 inches. So when you divide 28 into 4, we're going to have 7. And then the hip measurement, the hip is 40. You divide into 4, we are going to have 10 inches. So for the knee part, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to get the knee uh, so once we're doing it directly here it will be easier and then for the down part i'm going to use for the down part you can take how um, much depends on how flowing you want your skirt to be so for mine i'm going to be using about 17 inches depends on my pattern so now let's get started so like i said i have some lines here so this first time i, I have it this is the waistline and then this is my hip line and then this is my knee line this is not the original knee so i'm going to show measure and show you guys now so from the waist to my hip line i'm using 9.5 inches for my hip so hip is usually between 9 and 10 so i decided to use 9.5 and then when i take my tape like this uh for standard a measurement for knee line is usually 19 inches between 18 and 19 so with that, you find that, that the, the skirt is not going to be tight around the knee line. So this is like your normal knee line, which is 19 inches. And then if you notice the second knee line that I made on my pattern that I marked. So this is like a new knee. If you have been following me, you understand what I'm saying. So you notice that this is 23 inches. If you notice most of this fish skirt, you see that it does not really flay from that top of that knee part. It flays from below the knee. So that is why I came down from 19 inches. I came down 4 inches. So for this, it is optional. You can decide to come down 2 inches. You can decide to come down 3 inches. So it depends on how much you want. If you notice, you notice that the skirt is going to be slim from the top. And then after the kneel down, that is when you, you see the skirt will start opening up. So that is what makes it that, that, that that's what gives it that fish shape so if you start playing your skirt from this your knee that's which is 19 which is normal standard if you start creating your flip from you you are not going to get that particular pattern of the skirt you find that after cutting your skirt you find that your skirt will, it will just be open big and wide it will not have that distinct shape so i hope you understand so mine i added like i said one two three about four inches so this is now like a new knee for me so this is what i'm going to be making use of i'm not going to be making use of this line so okay so i'm going to start imputing the measurements now just like i explained to you earlier on okay so our our waist is 28 so you divide 28 into four i'm going to have seven inches so i'm going to add just one inch for my dad and then i'm going to add about one inch also for my stitching allowance so from this point, I'm just going to just create dot set lines here. And then I'll come to the hip line. Like I said, I said the hip is 40. Divide into four. I'm going to have 10 inches. 
So after having my 10 inches, I'm just going to add 2 inches allowance for my stitching allowance. And then I'm just using dotted lines just to connect it. Okay, and then I'm going to come to my knee line now. So normally, this is my the first knee, like I said. Normally, you know what we normally do when you want to get your knee, you just take out two inches from your hip measurement and then just come like this. So, but for this, so I'll just mark. But for this, if you notice that knee, which is below the knee, it's usually smaller than this. So for this, you can decide however you want it. So for mine, I'm not going to take good the normal regular two inches that we normally take away from hip measurement to get our knee. I'm going to still reduce mine further. You understand? So I'm going to reduce, I'm going to take out away about 1.5 inch from that. So I'm going to have 8.5 here like this. So that 8.5, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do this now and then bring it here. So you can see this actually helps to give it one kind of definite, you can see one kind of defined. You can see how small this knee area is looking at looking. And then the next thing I'm going to come to my skirt length. So the full length of my skirt, I use about 40, I use about 47 inches. Yes, you can see 47 plus one inch allowance. So I'm just going to move this like this so you can see. So after getting the getting it to this knee part like this. The next thing I'm going to mark, measure the down part of my skirt. So for this down part, like I said, I'm making use of this of 17 inches. So you want the down part of your skirt to... Okay, so from this part, I'm just going to take my tape, like my ruler. So you can see the way I'm placing it at an angle. You need to do this. So you can see this side came in and then I'm just going to give it a nice lay down to the hem of my skirt. So after getting it down to the hem of my skirt, I'm going to come. So this pattern, I'm going to use it to cut both the back and the front because it does not have a tail at the back. So what I'm going to do from this part, I'm just going to come up a little bit, about two inches. And then that two inches, I'll use my, my curve. I'm just going to curve it into the down part of my skirt like this. So you can see, I'll curve it into. So with that, I don't have sharp edges there. And then all of these ones, I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of them back. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add my dart. So for my dart, I'm just going to use my bust span measurement, which is 7. I'll mark 3.5 and then I'm going to take it down to about 4.5 and then take out half half inch from the both side. That's half inch. So remember it was one inch that we used. So I'll take out half half and then I'm just going to blend this into this part. So you can see how easy this is looking. So the next thing I'm going to cut this out and let's see how the shape of our skirt is looking. Okay, guys, so at the end of the day, you can see how our fish skirt is looking so you can see from that new knee part that is where the trick of this pattern is if i had flay it from that first knee you can see that the skirt the down part is going from that knee area is going to be big and it will not have this defined shape so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button and then if you have not subscribed already please subscribe. Thank you so much. You can drop your questions on my comment section and I will do well to reply you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.